Okay, good morning everyone. So we made it to Bohicket, um, like by the skin of our teeth actually. Um, we got here I think at about 5.30 and sunset was 5.30, um, but there was nobody else in this little um, anchorage and it was fairly calm so we were able to uh, anchor without too much of a problem. Which was nice because right over there is um, Bohicken Marina and there's actually a restaurant. So we got to practice taking the dinghy down and oh, lots of noise. Practice uh, putting the dinghy in the water. Yeah, it's practice. Uh, putting the dinghy in the water and heading over to the restaurant for dinner last night, which is great. I don't know if you can hear any of this with the um, But now we're preparing to head back um, up the ICW. Still being repaired, so we have really no wind protection, which kind of sucks. Um, but it's more than chilly, it's freaking cold. But hey, if we can do this, we can do anything, right? So we're not sure if we're going to do a stretch back um, and go all the way back down the ICW to Barbara tonight, or if we're going to maybe stop along the way and do the rest tomorrow so that we can come in. quieter down here. It's pretty tough because of uh, the current and we actually clipped the prop that was hanging uh, of the outboard that was hanging off of the boat next to us um, with our railing. Um, they're really small little slips. Uh, the boat is very long for the dockage that's there so I wasn't able to actually throw the line to the dock can um, before I had to drop it and run across um, and try and fend us off of that prop. So yeah, it was a little um, little excitement. Um, Rookie errors, it was my fault. Yeah, it was kind of sucky. Um, I don't know, I wouldn't say it was his fault. Um, it's a really tough marina. Hold on, it's the radio. Yeah, it's hard to hear though. Um, it's a really tough marina to get in and out of, um, and and the current, yeah, please turn that down. And the current is just whipping through there, and we were not at slack tide, which we we knew we should be, but you know, you only have what twice a day to hit that, and you can't control that time. So anyhow, um, so we haven't decided if we're gonna stop halfway or you know three quarters of the way and yeah anchored. we got a pretty late start today so we'll probably end up anchoring again tonight yeah and, and coming then, into the marina tomorrow and at then a, we, at a slack tide yeah and then we can come in at slack tide but it should be around noon or something tomorrow it's supposed to rain or is that it Tuesday? is supposed to rain Tomorrow's um Tuesday? i haven't looked at the weather this morning but we're supposed to have like 70 percent chance rain tomorrow with again no bimini um so that won't be fun. Yeah, we need to get back before it starts raining. <laughs> yeah, but anyhow. So that's where we are. Um, all good. I'm going to come down for a minute. We're getting ready to go to um, the dock over here and see if we can go ahead and fuel up. Again, it's a little bit easier dock to get to than ours. Um, so we might be able to get that out of the way. Uh, and um, we, are, we are on a less than a quarter of a tank of water because we didn't fill up. Um, so it would be nice if we could have water so that we could take a shower tonight if we wanted to. So anyway, so while I've got you um, and um, it's light, I'm gonna just walk you really quick through um, our galley. I think I mentioned um, shelving that AJ was putting up for me. So I guess I could take my hat off. 
So um, right here above the engine doors, um, we were able to put up these four shelves, um, which are fantastic. Um, and then we've got two more down here that you can see are empty, which is really exciting. But that opened up this whole cabinet. So I'm able to put in um, stuff that we use on a daily basis, like, you know, the coffee, the creamer, cereals, we'll have rice, uh, grits, pancake mix, all of that stuff that we can just grab quickly and make something instead of having to um, come all the way over here and pull apart the settee to get everything from underneath. So anyway, super excited about that. Um, I th think the last time you saw the boat, it was a little bit of a disaster. Um, and it's, you know, we've really gotten everything pretty much pulled away, put away and pulled together. So really happy with the way the boat's coming as far as organization goes. Um, and we've even gotten, I'll do a better video another time, but we've even gotten mostly this cleaned out. Um, this is our forward berth. This is just our cushions. Um, and a few miscellaneous containers that I think I'm going to still be using for, um, for provisioning. So anyhow, all right, well, um, we got to get on the road or on the water. <laughs> so, um, we will check in with you as the day progresses. You got anything to say? No, no hopefully we won't screw up and it's going to be a perfect day. Yeah, it will be a perfect day. The sun's out, so that's nice. It's just bitterly cold. I, I stress every time we have to go to a different, or any any dock or any fuel dock or slip or whatever, yeah. it's all still new and kind of scary. Yeah, but pulling the boat up beside something it. hard that doesn't bend and flex with your boat is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, all right, we'll, uh, we'll keep you guys updated as the day progresses. See ya. We're back. We're back. Okay. So wow. anchor. What? I haven't seen my face in a long time. You got the <laughs> reverse selfie mode. It's I scary. Look like a salty sailor. Okay. Um, <laughs> moving on. So we're at our second anchorage. Um, we left Bohickett this morning. <laughs> we decided to go um, see if we could fill up with water and fill it with fuel. Yeah, we decided we went in for water because we're, we're out of water. And it's like, well, while we're at the fuel dock, let's get some fuel. So, try to kill two birds with one stone. Um, that was ugly. Yeah. Um, it yeah. took us a couple of passes to get Third to the dock. The um, um, and I was pretty stressed. I actually fell over a, um, one of the lines on the boat because everybody's standing there watching us. It was pretty um, comical. Yeah, it was ugly. Um, but anyway, so then we got gas. Lesson learned always. We had um, current and wind opposing each other, and the wind was dominant, but this one's learned to always go uh, into the current. current. So we had so, two failed attempts. Yeah, we had to. Uh, the dock, uh, we were going, I was going into the wind, so I had to the current uh, yeah. third time. Change tactics, so we had to go back out and move all the fenders move to the other side the, of the yeah, boat. Move all the fenders, move yeah. all the lines. So, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was interesting. So, so anyway, um, so we got there, then we started fueling up. Something and as usual, the nozzle barely fits, it fits at all. Um, so we had ended up getting a funnel. Um, we got that one tank up to 97 and decided to stop and not yeah. press our luck and went to the second tank. It would not fill, it, it would started fill overflowing immediately every time. So we think there's uh, the vent for the fuel tank is uh, either clogged or something. something. So we gotta figure that out. So we didn't get any fuel in that tank. So but that's fine. But we got water filled up, which is great because now we can take a shower. Um, we have we neighbors. Have a mooring or an anchoring buddy filling. Yeah, we have neighbors coming up. So, um, so tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day, um, like 70% chance of rain, and in the like 40s and 50s. So, um, what we think, what we've decided to do is we found this anchorage. Sorry, background noise. So we found this anchorage, um, um, that we're going to hang out in probably all day tomorrow. Um, we'll see how the weather is. Yeah, we'll see. But we're not we, in a hurry, so. We're not, but we want to, um, 
go in back into our marina at Slack, Slack Tide, Tide, which is at yeah. noon tomorrow. No, noon tomorrow, which means yeah. we'd have to we'd have to spend three hours, two and a half hours maybe, getting there in the rain, um, which I am not about since yeah. again no enclosure. So, um, we think we're going to stay here just for the day, hang out, um, rest, relax, um, maybe find a project we can work on in the boat, and then Wednesday we'll head back to St. John's and we can get there um, at, hold on, I have to change arms, we can get there in the right time to be able to go in at slack yeah, time. Nice and easy, no hurry. Then so we, we don't have anything for, else uh, to do. Hands to help us. Um, Otherwise, we could get there with the 6.30, but uh, no dock hands and rain right. still. Yeah, so. we don't want to do that. Yeah. We already did that. That was not fun. <laughs> so, so that's the plan. We got plenty of food. We got uh, full water. Our batteries that are 100%. Yeah. Um, we were in the heat. Yeah. Uh, on the way, when we were underway Speaking to get the boat of. warm. Yeah. Let's close, close the hatch. Keep the heat <laughs> Keep the heat we're in the heat on the way uh, before we anchored. So I guess it's, it's a little chilly. Yes, it's cold. Uh, just actually. to warm the boat up, and uh, we killed the heat probably about what an hour. Yeah. Uh, before we uh, anchored, and it worked pretty good. Um, we didn't have it was um, the alternator was almost able to keep up, and it was overcast. So um, if it was full sun, we could probably run AC or heat uh, while we're underway and. Uh, either keep up with that but it, it, what the batteries went down to what 95 percent after an hour of running it so yeah. that's that was pretty good we only lost five percent yeah while underway but uh, and then popped back up like literally in an hour went back from yeah went from 94 to 100 we so. killed uh killed the uh, heat uh, probably about half an hour before we anchored uh, just so we could get the batteries back to, up to 100 percent because uh if it's gonna be raining tomorrow it may be cloudy for a couple of days so um we still make power with solar but not that much and uh we, we've got enough for a couple of days, but yeah. uh, we can always run the engine again. But we're just trying to get a feel for what our batteries, you know, how much we can consume. Because uh, we're not conservers, we're we consumers. We're just trying to figure that out. I would like to figure out how to be a conserver, but uh, it's really hard. So, anyway, we're in a nice little place, though. Um, it's just a pretty quiet little anchorage. We're kind of wedged between two pieces of land. Um, we're anchored in about 10, 10, to 12, 10 feet. 12 feet of water right now um, with a hundred and... Well, 10 to 12 feet under the boat, so... Yeah, right. and about a hundred, right at 150, 150 feet of chain out. So, um, last night um, at Bohicket we had a hundred feet and we were also in 10 feet of water. Um, and it was pretty calm, but it picked up. The wind yeah, picked it's really up. Long, pretty good. Uh, yeah, pretty. Night. Yeah, and we were really stretched out. Yeah, like we didn't drag. Uh, we didn't. But the, the chain was stretched all the way out. So. Yeah, it was a lot of pressure on that, and and we didn't put the bridle on nope. because we didn't think we needed it. Yeah, um, we thought it was nice. Uh, yeah. well, nice tucked away. Not too bad, but uh, we probably should have should have put the bridle on. Yeah. So we did today. We put it on tonight just because we know that there's rain coming, and um, with rain maybe wind and. So anyway, but we feel like we're in a good spot. We've got room to swing um, without hitting anything. And uh, it's nice and quiet and it's a little protected. There's still a good bit of um, breeze, breeze at the moment, um, but hopefully not too too bad. Yeah, very um, nice and quiet. There's a nice, there's a nice house right over there over my shoulder. So if things get bad, we can, you know, swim over. <laughs> anyway. I'm pretty comfortable. We have pork chops for dinner tonight, marinating in uh, ginger and sesame uh, marinade. With some noodles and what we, we have some that? we have some stir fried noodles, um, uh, packet frozen packets that um, came from Kirkland that I remember having years ago that were really good. So we got those and um, veggies, corn, corn on the cob. cob. Yeah. Corn on the cob. So, so eating good tonight. Yeah, we should have a good dinner tonight and. Uh, Anyway, we got plenty of food, so we'll be fine to hang out tomorrow and uh, get back underway on Wednesday with the weather. So, so we've got a good 24 hours to relax. Yeah, I know. It's nice. All right. Awesome. All right. First time. All right. <laughs> well, we'll keep you guys posted. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.